Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing as the Commonwealth here in the Open Universalis 4. This is Conquest of Paradise, but uh, you wouldn't know it because... Oh, yeah, you would, because it does say Castilian Brazil. You get colonies now. Yay! Uh, we do not have randomized New World turned on, so... Oh, well. Hey, we can do do tech. Yes, baby. So we're now at 13s across the board, which means we are... Yeah, we're still about three techs behind. Well, two techs on average. Let's say we're a total of six techs behind. So we're a little bit backwards, but not that bad. We're currently waiting for Milan and Tuscany to peace out. They need to peace out. My goodness. That Milan-Tuscany war needs to end. Needs to end. But um, maybe what we should do is just focus on getting uh, other people out of this war, like Provence. What's the war goal? Superiority. 80% of the battles. Nobody's won 80% of the battles. So we're not going to get ticking war score. Or else that would give us enough to uh, peace out. Maybe we can get it through some naval battles? Maybe. Mm. Skeptical. Skeptical. Let's go pick up these clowns. And bring them back to Italia. Well, there's a battle. Kick some butt. Hey, new cardinal for France. Really old guy, 63. And we got a free... Oh my god, we got a free cardinal elect with 120 free points. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Not complaining, but that is crazy. Alright, they peaced out. Good, let's go take uh, Modena. Oh, Austria's already there. Thank you, Austria. We didn't steal anything, but we killed two trade ships. Okay. And Austria's leaving. Whatever. Okay. Get them on the boat. Man, let's head over to Pisa or something. I don't know. Go somewhere. Do something. Ah, and Spain wants to steal a cardinal. No. Nope. Krakow University. Gain admin or gain diplo points. Or, oh, no, prestige. We don't need the prestige, so give me the admin. We got tons of prestige, baby. Oh, come on, Austria. You just, I just need your heir to die. That's all. I just need your heir to die. Come on. You don't need all those heirs, dude. They're just going to weigh you down, you know? All right, so one last province, we'll have 100%, and we'll peace out. Start annexing a couple of vassals. France still wants our alliance, very good. Ah, we could do some buildings, but nope. We're gonna save our points, baby. And our manpower is back up to 112K. That's gorgeous, that's a nice sight. Ah, why is he in so many wars now? So weird. He still has 60,000 guys. He's not weak, I don't know. I don't make the rules. Yeah, go back to Austria. They're at 82. Oof, wow. God damn it. Stop it! <laughs> These need to be automatic. There should really be a setting to automatically input points for you. If you have excess points, you just be able to put a checkbox. Like, I want that guy, I want that guy, and just drain my points. Try to get them. But Shen, that would remove tedium from the game. You wouldn't want to remove tedium from a game that's about tedium. No, the game isn't about tedium. Just because it has some tedium in it doesn't mean it's about tedium. You know what, I guess we could throw in there to get rid of your alliance with France, huh? But, that's probably demanding too much. Although that is his only ally. Ha! Huh. I mean, we'll be at 100%, so it doesn't matter.
not getting lucky with the um, with the dice rolls for breaking the wall. Hey, why don't you head home? I don't need ya. Split in half first, though, so we don't take so much attrition on the way. Start rolling out. You can go Donzig. Alright, the long cloud save is over. And Spain's trying to steal a cardinal. Look, he's trying to be sneaky, like, Oh, Shen's got a long cloud save. I guess I can go take a cardinal now, huh? He won't mind. Come on now. Get rid of Mantua. Come on. Goodbye, Man. Oh, come on. Goodbye, Mantua. Goodbye, Mantua. God damn it, Mantua. Goodbye. There we go. 100%. And he will give me all my provinces and get rid of his alliance with France. Yay. Excellent. France! I want my alliance back. Let's be friends. Yay! We have our alliance back. Okay, so our vassal is now big again. And let's start annexing Peskov, this utterly useless little vassal up here. He's useless because he doesn't border anybody, so he can't get claims on anybody. <laughs> so what's the point? <laughs> just annex him, just to get him out of the way. Whereas Nizhny Novgorod has claims on pretty much everything. So we can take all the land, sell it to Nizhny Novgorod. And uh, Twer, are you claiming stuff? Good guy, Twer. Claims shit. Uh, I was kind of hoping you would go for this province, Twer. Kaluga. But I guess we can't all get what we want. What about Perm? Have you claimed anything yet? Uh, yes, but not the one I want you to claim. God damn it, Perm. Why can't you be more like your buddy Nizhny Novgorod? You jerk. All right. Uh, whoa, 50k. Whoa. Uh, let's split up. And um, I'll send you down to Burgas. I don't know. Go somewhere. Shit, 50k. That's a lot. Uh, go to Kirko. And do I have more units over here? I do. You guys can go to Kirko. No, go to Donzig. <laughs> Kirko. Wow. Let's take our navy and take the trade ship out first. You guys go to Novgorod. Novgorod. And the transports can just chill over here. No problem. Now, we can't start Naples until next July. Are there any other useless vassals we have? We have... Um, Perm is not a vassal. Nizhny Novgorod is a vassal. Skov is annexing. Let me just look real quick right here. Let's see. France and Austria are allies. Vassal, vassal, ally, vassal. Yeah, no, that's it. Okay. So that's fine. Basically, I don't want to get new vassals until we've annexed some of the old ones. Not because of relationships. I'll go for alliances and stuff. I just don't want to have the penalties for um, a next vassal. Because I think it's like negative 35 or negative 40 per vassal that you annex. So we'll just be, you know, relaxed and calm. Cool as a cucumber, right? Cucumber? Hmm, military power, threatened, and reputation. We have good reputation. Oof, plus 12. That's really nice. Wow, that's nice. So, Austria, how about you have your king keel over, huh? 67 years old. I need your king to die, my friend. Mein Freund. Let us continue. Who the hell is this? Aiden? It's Aiden. Yeah, you can have access, Aiden. I don't know why you need access. You're a vassal of the Ottomans. You really don't need access, but there you are, trying to get access. Uh-uh-uh. I didn't say the magic word. Uh, uh, uh. Let's get relations back up with uh, Francie Pants. Now that we're not in the war against him anymore, he should be fine. The one problem I see is... Where's his 60k units? I see like 10 guys here. This says he has 40k. Where are they? I see 10. Where are your units, France? Oh shit, our quartermaster died. No. Um I would prefer the morale guy. 
but I want to keep teching up as fast as possible, so I'll take the um, land maintenance. More points, damn it. Alright, when can we declare war on Muscovy again? Oh my god, look at all the CBs he has. Uh, June of next year, okay. Why don't we start the annexation of Naples first then? Because we can start that in July of next year, right? Yeah. So we'll do that. We'll start the annexation, then we'll declare war on Muscovy, go back for all those claims, because we have claims on all of them. Pretty much everything. Claim below zero. Take that. Take that. Yeah, you like me now, Muscovy? You like me now? Do you? Punk? Do you like me now, Muscovy? Do you like me now, Muscovy? Commonwealth. Okay, max relations with Austria. We're working on France. We could go back to Britain. We could go to Portugal. They all want to be allies. Even Spain wants to be an ally, but I'm not super interested in that. Uh, Brandenburg, they're going to be the next emperor if the king of Austria will ever freaking die. Whoa! Hostile. Did you get a claim on me? Um, yes. He has a claim on me now. Uh-oh. Must have had an event or something. Yeah, he's got a claim on Zagreb. Oh, Austria. You have a claim. Oh, man. All you need now is a freaking... Um, what's it called? Claimable throne. Break that alliance and go crack your skull like a melon. Oh man, that'll be glorious. Disloyal Cardinal, hey now. Hey now, hey now. Ooh, Tech 14, we're really catching up here. It feels slow, but it's actually going pretty fast. Getting some good points. None of our armies are taking attrition, very good. There we go. That's more like it. Missions? Uh, terrible missions. Okay. Well, it's nice to know we have terrible missions. Everyone loves terrible missions. Terrible. They're terrible. Terrible. Will you die already? Franz the second Stefan? Die, 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 die. Die, 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 die. Brandenburg the Emperor. That's going to be so weird. Because their allies are piss poor. So what good are they going to be as an emperor, right? Come on, Franz, die! I'm asking you nicely. Friend to friend, I'm asking you nicely, you know? He's just not doing it. Okay, we max relations with France. It's good. How the hell are you losing your war to Auvergne? It's a two province. I mean, he's sieging him now, but it's a two province minor and he's somehow managing to lose. He's like, I don't know. I'm just going to lose now, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah, top off with Britain. And uh, Portugal, they're pretty good. Spain, well, top it off. Whatever. Something to do. Keep our diplomats busy. Wouldn't want them to get lazy. Lazy diplomats. Come on, just die. Just die. Your allies suck balls. Just die. Actually, his allies aren't bad, but they're very small allies. Although he is two techs ahead of us in military, so... Well, one tech soon, but still. It does add up. You don't, you don't want to be behind in military tech when you're not westernized. As an eastern nation, or Ottoman, or Muslim, you want to be right up there with the western guys, or else you're going to be losing every battle. Come on, you're 68, just die! Die! Send hateful thoughts to Vienna. There we go. Nice. Hmm. 
trying to think who might be a good ally. You know what, let's get relations up with Friesland. I don't think I'm going to be allied with them, but just in case, and Hesse too. Just in case. Oh man. I'm still kicking myself for not... Oh, I need to start annexing um, Naples. I'm still kicking myself for not noticing when the Emperor was elected that he was a Jagiellon, because we could have claimed the throne right then and there. He had no heir. Could have claimed it. Didn't. <laughs> All right, let's come back from, let's see, who's not doing anything? Oh, Naples. Yeah, come back from Naples. That will do just fine. And we'll declare war on Muscovy. Y'all want access? What do you need access for? Perm still has not claimed this province. God damn it, Perm. Why can't you be more like your brother? Alright, let's take, um, I don't know, half of these guys. And you guys can all come over. Very good. Sure, Revolutionary War, whatever. Boom! Take that, Muscoe. And bring you guys up as well. And why don't you guys head to Riazan? And you can head to, I don't know, go to the capital. That sounds like fun. Go ahead and marry Twer, lie them, whatever. I still want them to get a claim on Kaluga before we vassalize them, but as long as we're allied, then they won't be pissed off that we take lands and shit. They won't care. Kind of surprised Nizhny Novgorod has not claimed Kazimov. Weird. Oh no, death of a cardinal. Oh crap. And the freebie went to Spain? Ugh, the horror. That's just not even fair. That's technically a foul ball. Trying to change direction at the last second. That ain't gonna work, bro. It just ain't gonna work. Attracting the right people. Either we get a natural scientist or an artist. Our decision to improve the lot of our serfs by making sure they are properly looked after has created more opportunities for men to show what they can do. What the hell? I don't think I've ever seen that before. All right, you didn't die, but uh, I don't know. All right, drop siege and go, go. Ah, uh, yes, we need to turn off these checkboxes. Oh, this should not be on by default. It's so dumb. When you drop a siege, the checkboxes are always on. Like what? Why the check? I didn't want the checkbox on. Well, the game's like I didn't know you didn't want the checkbox on. What if you did want the checkbox on? Then I'd look stupid for not having it on for you, right? Right. You're like, no. Um, just stay in reason. I don't care. Huh, <laughs> should be fine. Got tons of dudes. Drop them off, and you guys can go back to Osprusen or whatever. Come 
Come on, claim Kaluga. Little jerk. Oh, we're in the woods. Oh no, we are in the woods. And they got squished. All right. Go back to Ostprusen. Yep, that'll work just fine. Let's fast forward to victory. Have you died yet? 69 years old. This fucker won't die. What is wrong with him? <laughs> and France is now winning their war. Good for you. Please die. Uh oh, Cardinal Disloyal. Damn it. Oh, another conversion. Very good. We're really going through these quickly, but we only have two missionaries, so it still takes a long time to get through the whole country. How's the religious map mode look? Uh, pretty good, actually. We're getting rid of orthodoxy uh, as fast as it's coming in. It's the Protestantism that takes a while because of religious zeal. It makes it impossible to convert for 30 years or 25 years. It's a long time. But yeah, there are some Protestant states, but the majority of Europe is Catholic. 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 You're a catheter licker. If I ever saw... There we go. He got his claim. That's what I want to see. Now we can vassalize your dumbass. Yeah. Perfect. Ah, oh, beautiful. Will you please get this freaking claim? Ah, oh, he still doesn't have a claim on it. God damn it, Perm. <laughs> We, we make we make Twer spawn, and Twer spends no time at all. They do not waste a single second. They claim every single province. All of it. Every single one that they can claim, they've claimed. Perm? He's like, well, I claimed one province. I'm done. <laughs> Seriously, Perm. What the fuck? Oh, goodness. 69. All right. Ooh, money or what? What's the other option? Prestige? Prestige. Yeah, I'll keep that out. I'd rather have the prestige, to be honest, just in case we need it to make sure we have more prestige than the Ottoman, or than Austria, so that we can claim the throne. You have to have more prestige than them to claim the throne, so we'll see. What I'm thinking next time is uh, we'll declare war on Kazan and we'll protectorate them and Chagatai at the same time because they're allies. That'd be nice. Two big protectorates over there. Pushing a lot of trade towards us, towards the Novgorod node. That'd be nice. Novgorod trade node for the win. Oh my god, I need you to die. Seriously, please. I don't know why I'm watching so intently, because we're going to get a pop-up when he dies. It's going to tell us about the new emperor, who's going to be uh, Brandenburg. Oh, they're falling like flies. Cool. What's the cost of vassalize you anyway? Because we're going to get close to that, aren't we? Uh, 254, so it's going to be a few more wars. We want to take their capital, Muscovy, anyway. But yeah, a few more wars. Ah, I guess we'll just take the money then, because he hasn't freaking died. Yep. Damn it, Austria. This guy's going to live forever. <laughs> I 
So Auvergne declared war on France. Auvergne, who was a two-province minor, declared war on one of the strongest nations in the game. France beat the shit out of him and took half of Auvergne. Why am I not surprised? Huh. General has died. Uh, yeah, I probably do want to keep... Oh, God, sick shock. Sick shock. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, go to Coco. Cog? Whatever. Won't be able to take everything in this peace deal, but we'll take as much as we can. We'll take everything that you have a claim on. Which are one, two, three. We'll take those four. If we can. They might cost too much. I have no idea. Oh, I need to make sure I take uh, Kaluga and Vladimir, so he'll move his capital out of Moskva. Well, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. At well, least Kaluga's cheap. It's only a base two, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, we're done. I want this crap. Oh, we can't get everything, but we can do that. That's a good start. And then he'll have to move his capital. All right. Take that, you jerk. Yeah. So, Twer, would you like to buy a province? I heard you like provinces. He's like, hell yeah, I like provinces. Nizhny Novgorod has claims on a lot of shit. When does this one go away? Oh, long time. Good. Well, go ahead and claim Kazimov, because I'll get you that too. Diplomats, please. Place to be diplomats. So hopefully he'll claim that province. He should. Uh, roll down to Krakow. Yeah. All right, so we're back to no overextension, right? Yeah, no overextension for us. What, what, what land? We didn't take any land. I don't know what you're talking about. We did not take any land. We didn't. Still has its capital in Moskva, but that won't last. We'll go take it. Someone will, Twer will claim it. It shall be glorious. Oh no, they can't claim it. Oh, because we vassalized him. Oh, I'm stupid. I forgot my plan. I don't know how I forgot my plan. My plan was to take Kaluga myself, sell Vladimir to Nizhny Novgorod, and sell everything else to Nizhny Novgorod, and that would still isolate Moskva. I would have to core Kaluga myself, but whatever. And then Twer would be able to claim it. Now they can't claim it because they're a vassal. You know, I'm dumb. Did I mention that I'm dumb? I'm kind of dumb. Oh well.
You know what though, we do need to end this episode here. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen, you have been you. Come back next time where hopefully the 70 year old immortal Franz the Second Stefan will maybe die. And if he would kindly just die, you know, we could get along. We could um, move on and get their throne and everyone would be super happy. I would be super happy. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.